starting soon. <clears throat> Okay, let's see if that drives traffic a little better. Let's see if that drives traffic a little better. Okay, I can mute that. Uh -oh. Make sure my connections are good. starting in just a moment. <clears throat> just making sure all my ducks are in a row. I really gotta cut this part of the streams out when I upload to YouTube. I keep forgetting to do that. So let me post this real quick. I tried running Meritus and it gave me an error. I haven't had a uh, chance to test anything. I just quickly threw it on. So I'm going to open this real quick. Ah. It might work this time. Oh, I think we got to this point before. Oh, cool. It works this time. So I'll have to come back and revisit this. Um, oh. oh, I see. It's a toggle. Alright. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay, sound test good. Yep, move the phone. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, 
apparently it just concluded yesterday, there was a homebrew contest um, for the PS Vita. It was... it's called uh, Qhen? Let me pull up the site again real quick. Where did I put that? Qhen, PS Vita homebrew contest. I don't know what Qhen means. It might be Japanese for homebrew? I don't know. But, it's a contest for homebrew, and it's not just games, it's also like utilities and stuff. Uh, let me pop the link here. And also I just realized I didn't turn off notifications. My bad, let me do that real quick. I feel like I'm rusty on stream already. Need this tab. I don't need that open. I don't need that open. Okay, so yeah, Qhen. It's uh, it's pretty cool. There's about mm, 20 games, a dozen ports, like six utilities, eight utilities. Um, and I have it broken down between game one, game two, utility and port. Um, oh, okay. Game 1 games were created with an existing engine, like Unity. Game 2 were made from scratch. Uh, and then ports are games and stuff that originally existed on, like, the computer and now exist on the Vita. Um, like I said, I haven't tested these. I don't know if they're Vita only. Um, like, if they rely on touchscreen and stuff. I, well, I did see one that mentions it was optimized for that. I guess we'll find out as we go along. So here are the ports that I got. I didn't, excuse me, I didn't put all of them on here because some of them require like the actual game files and I don't have those. Let me go back and pull up the ports. I'll just read off the other ones that they had. I don't know if I can, here we go, submitted projects. So. Uh, Crashlands, I, these are the ones that I, I did not put on here. Crashlands, which is a Steam game. Uh, Vanilla Conquer, which is Command & Conquer, it's a source port of that engine. Um, I got that one, I got that one. Uh, XCOM Terror from the Deep. Uh, I did not put that on here because that requires the XCOM files. Uh, but that apparently works off of OpenCom, I think it's called. Um, and then Ink, which is another Steam game that I don't have. Uh, and Worminator here is actually Worminator 3. I don't know if that makes a difference. I've never heard of that game before. So anyway, moving on. Uh, these are games made with an existing engine. Um, I know a couple of them are... Oh, well, I got all the game descriptions. I'll read them off as I test them out. A um, couple are Game Maker. I think most are Unity. Um... Dark Paradigm existed before this contest. I assume that's okay, but their rules, I don't know. Because I had a copy on here that was like version 0.1a or something. And this is a much newer version. I'm assuming it's the same game. And these are games made from scratch. Uh, this one, Wrath, it's listed as Crab Island. Uh, I don't know why it's named Wrath here or what AR stands for in the icon, uh, but going by the description, it's more uh, a showcase for RPG mechanics, so it sounds like it's more of a tech demo. We'll check it out. Um, so yeah, let's start with Angel Collide. And Angel Collide, pull it up here. This is submitted by Xander1050. It's a simple side-scrolling shmup built in Game Maker Studio. Controls are pretty simple. Right stick, Halo 360 degree shooting. Shoot forwards, move. Okay. Oh, I like that they use the splash screen. That's pretty cool. Uh, you see the sponsors down at the bottom there, like Wololo, um, PlayStation Hacks. 
Um, you can get these games from the Qhen site, but you can also get them from Renegadamante's uh, PS Homebrew site. Um, and on there, I like this a little better, they actually list like the version number and I think in most cases they link to like their GitHub page and stuff. Which I always super appreciate because I'll periodically go through and look for updates. Uh, let's check options first. Music, cool. Controls. Ooh, shoot. Cool. Play. So. So I thought my bumper was L1, or R1, but it's actually R2, which is why I didn't shoot forward until the end. So this is using the bumper, and then right stick will shoot in all directions. I'm not sure where this shield comes from. last words. Um, that's about all there is to it, I guess. Oh, look at the screenshots. Looks like there's a second level in the desert with different enemies. I am too terrible at bullet hells to make it that far, probably. Let's check the credits. Gecko Fodder Productions. Okay. I like this little lizard gecko in the corner there. So there's a bunch of people that worked on it, helped out. It's pretty cool. Uh, mad props for still having a DVD player. Oh. Cool, so that's Angel Collide. Next up is Boxing Girl. This is submitted by YGCG, if I'm saying that right. And it's a platformer. And that's pretty much all it says. <laughs> oh, they also put the version number on the, sp the splash screen at the front for launching. That's super appreciated also. As it's spelled there. Um, unfortunately, it seems this is Vita only because none of my controls are doing anything. So that's unfortunate. Um, oh, I could have sworn I had a plugin set up for that. Is it as simple as enabling this? Let's try. Oh shit, look at that! This is why I have a PS4 controller. Okay, yeah, that was working. Awesome. Oops. Why is here speed? Okay. 
a conscious decision on their part. Huh. Well, let's find out. It's the hit kill. They are also hit kill. So I'll be sure to do both. show the music, like in the credits for that. It's interesting that the combos are all just whatever. Like the Morty Mesh Square? The better the combo? Oh god. Oh, dang it. Well, let me. Alright, let's, let's try just like going. Oh. I'm trying to get past it. Jeez. You can't jump on top of them like. Just roll endlessly until you fall off. Oh, shit. 
Really? Hey, Aegis. Yeah, this is a uh, homebrew game from the recent Kuhen Vita homebrew contest. Uh, this is Boxer Girl, I think it was called. about boxing, so as far as I'm concerned, it is. Damn it, Patrolex! Okay. Um, random bug fact. Oh, God damn it. Let's see. What did I learn today? Uh, I learned that um, bug development, particularly from egg to larva, is largely governed by temperature. So, the warmer the temperature, the faster the development. There's a random bug fact for you. That weird slow jump that games like this sometimes do. Oh. Oops. Oh god. <laughs> I like how those count as kills. Oh. Oh. Can you tell I'm bad at that? I'm just bad at games. Like, streaming has taught me that I'm not as good as I thought I was. <laughs> god. Okay. This is a cool game. Um. I like it. It's simple, but it's got a very nice presentation. Um, I feel like it could use a little polish, but you know, it's a game jam contest entry thing, so I can't really fault it for that. Make a game about bees. There's actually quite a few games about bees. Um, in fact, there's one called Bee Game, and it's on the Switch and Steam, I think? It's like a bee simulator thing. Bee movie the game. That exists. Uh, I think I have it for... Wii? I should stream that. I bet it's a horror show. So, okay. Let's uh, check the about here. Boxing Girl. Credits for that game. <clears throat> Hive time. I have a uh, there's a, a board well tile based board game called Hive that plays kind of like chess, and I have the Steam version of that. It's pretty fun. Um, let's see. This is Brain Splitter. It's another shmup. Uh, vertical one. Let's see. Oh, it includes a photo mode. So let's see, take screenshots. And a trophy system simulating the trophy system of official games. Neat. Uh, what else does this say? Not too much. This is by Lapey, who did River Raid, which you may remember from my previous Homebrews Day stream. It was the one where you're flying like a biplane down a river. And that one was pretty good. Let's see. Let's 
I think they did pretty well for in two weeks for that boxing game. Davy Boy. Uh, now tomorrow is going to be, because I was doing Jerkan on Wednesdays. Um, so tomorrow will be the sequel, Drakan The Ancient Gates, Ancient's Gates, which is a PS2 game. Um, oh cool, unlockables. Uh, let's see what we got in here. It was like an automatic screenshot every time you earn a trophy. Oh, that's cool. I'll leave that on. Help. Okay. Move ship. Shoot. Very simple. Use, also uses gyroscope and rear touchpad for some functions. Okay, so that might be a problem since I'm on the PS TV using a PS4 controller. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I thought the PS4 controller had a gyroscope in it too. But I don't know if this will pick up on that. Alright. We'll, we'll do normal. Hello, friends. I am going to tell you the story of how oh, this Gladys game is came here. about. It all started with a desire to do something new, but there was no new idea to work with. We needed any idea, no matter how small or simple. Maybe a new game with the old chicken. No, there were already too many chicken games. How about another remake of a classic? No. Too familiar, and too much work. Better something simpler, like a shoot em up with spaceships. Perfect. That idea wouldn't be complicated and it would be a lot of fun to do. We start by creating the assets with Blender and taking some others for free from the store. First we add a background. Then some stars too. Once we had the background ready, the spaceship would appear for the player. We started the engine and the sticks would serve to move the spaceship. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing it. L or R would be used to shoot and kill enemies. Very well. With everything on display, we could start playing. Although there was still a very important <coughs> secret to show. But I think you better find out for yourself when you start the game. It's a surprise. Okay. As you can see, the surprises that you have to play with your brain oh, fit into. Good luck. Oh, wow. That's inter oh, crap. That's interesting. And difficult. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh god, no. No. Oh, I love games like this that have like weird little twists. It really That's does change things begin. up. I hope you know what you're doing. I don't want to have to pick up your little pieces scattered throughout space. You keep flying right into the missiles. I got an achievement. Why do I keep doing this? I'm like trying to do both when I don't need to do both. Ups. It looks like you need some cheating here. Please have someone download it. That's pretty nuts. I'm gonna try that again. Starting wave. Let's go. Ah. 
I like that you can shoot the incoming missiles too. Or just, you know, get hit by them, which I seem to be doing. Oh. Are you ready for another way? Oh, I can just hold them down. Like a good shmup. Seem to be more left brain focused. Or more right brain focused, because I'm doing better with my left. I don't know. I can't science. <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. I've died, yeah. Shit, wave five already. <laughs> like I'm just running into them because I'm like, they both go up, right? I'm like <laughs> Left side keeps getting all the offensive stuff, and right side is getting all the uh, defensive stuff and the health. Oh, there we go. Just run right into him. That'll kill him too. I died. Over. Try again. Damn. What was that? Wave 8, right? That's pretty good. I think I did pretty good considering. I'm sure a lot more practice would be a lot easier, but hey, Esconfig. Welcome. Didn't see you pop in. What is that little icon? Keat dead. F's in chat. So that's Brain Splitter from Lappy Games. Uh, let's go down to the credits, get the full thing from that. Oh, that really was Gladys. It's a voice generator. Looking at the uh, beta testers, I see some recognizable names there, like Vita Hex, who also submitted something, I think. That one was fun. All right, Dark Paradigm. Let's see, this one. Back. Ah, a zombie survival game. First person shooter. Um, looks like Unity, maybe? We'll find out. Parking lot studio. Oh yeah, who submitted this? 
Parking lot studio. Okay, perfect. Oh, there's a handsome fella. So how's everyone doing tonight? This lovely Tuesday evening. Such meat, yes. Uh, I don't know if I'd say delicious, but I'm doing all right. <laughs> Select a mode to play. Play. Okay. Literally no other option. Cool. Oh, you know, I didn't look at... All right, after this, I'll go and look. Uh, Brain Splitter had those achievements, and I wanted to see what that was about, um, and also see the screenshots that it took, but I'll, I'll circle back to that. Oh, a lot of controls. Yeah, do it, no need for menus. All right, dump you right into the action. So let's see, move look, explosives, flashlight, sprint, aim, shoot, Oh, wait, I wasn't ready. Oh, jeez, I know what this level is. This is uh, Kill House from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I think it's still loading. Nope. Oh. Well, that's not good. Okay, I think that reloaded. Whoa. Uh, huh. Flashlight was up, I think. Yeah, some of the graphics aren't loading properly. And also I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... I can't bring up the... Oh god. Oh, there we go. I have no idea what's going on right now. That was... Oh god. Oh, they just spawn right in front of you? Alright. Uh, <laughs> uh... Huh. Okay, you know, let me... Yeah, <laughs> GG. Let me just close this and reopen it. I'll take another look at those controls. Oh, it's not letting me exit. Oh dear. Let me take a look at the game page again. Maybe I missed something. No, all it says is it's a survival game. Install the VPK. Let me check Renegade Amante's site. Um, see what that says about it. Known issues. Ah, okay, yep. The pause menu isn't shown, and when going back to play, time stays frozen. Huh. Yep, pressing left shows a non-functional weapon wheel. Huh. It's interesting that they would still release this with those... I wouldn't call those game-breaking bugs, but they're definitely game-disrupting bugs. 
I mean, when you... Holding left on the D-pad brings up the explosives menu, and you can't tell what's there. Um, and then, of course, you know, pausing the game, and you're kind of stuck. Alright, before I go back into that, because I forgot again. Uh, let's... Probably get to it from... I just want to check the achievements. Because it also had like a different game modes thing. Oops. Ghost. Huh. So I'm guessing like you're invisible, that one. No, they just have like continue. Oh, okay. I thought they'd like actually let you see the achievements you get. Alright, anyway, let's try this one again. I'm not sure how many of these games we'll get through tonight. I was thinking about half of them, and then do another stream for the other half. Um, some of them are ports, but they're like ports for games I've never played. Um, anyway, start. Play. Single arcade. So with these menus like this, it's pretty obvious to me that they want to do more with this than what's currently available. And uh, like I said earlier, this game existed before the contest um, in a much earlier state. Uh, so they've been working on it. So, I mean, I already see potential here. Oh, let's see. Crouch, switch weapon, reload, jump. Okay, those are the ones I was missing before. So basically, I'm just not touching the D-pad, because that's where all the bugs are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, alright. Yeah, this is totally a kill house. That's funny. I mean, it's a really good map, so I don't fault them for wanting, wanting to uh, use that. The circle's supposed to be crouch. And triangle switch weapon, but they don't seem to have any other weapons. Oh god, that sensitivity. <laughs> Look at these giblets! Oh my god. I also like them. Was it they like teleport oh they're jumping, okay. Yeah, I'm cheesing it. What of it? Can I shoot those barrels? Do they explode? No. I wonder if I can... Nope. Oh. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's see if restart works. Hey, it does.
God. Like the uh, random unity flag in here. Oh, crap. Game over. <laughs> okay. I think we've seen all we're gonna see from this one. But, uh... It's got potential. You can aim, you can shoot, jump. Uh, I assume crouch is in there. It wasn't working for me. Um... Yeah, it's got some serious bugs, but... try this. Uh, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to select it either. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Huh. See, uh, what that was, I'm clicking down on the uh, the thumbsticks and it's enabling an another touch mode where it, like, basically... Like, I'm clicking the left thumbstick, um, yeah, so it's like, like, dual touch kind of thing. That's cool. That's not in the game, that's, that's the Vita, it's built in, I just never tried it on the PSTV before. Where are they? Are they all below me? Hello? Oh, it's as far down as I can look? they'd want to do more maps and stuff. Um, I'm not sure, well, well, we'll see if there's credits we can look at, but I'm not sure how many people actually work on this one. So, <laughs> people are just farting out chunks of meat everywhere. wave one. How many... got potential. Uh, what does work seems to work fine. Um, it'd be nice if there were hit animations. Uh, it'd be nice if there was like a melee attack uh, and an option to turn down the sensitivity, but otherwise it's uh, serviceable. So this next one is Demons Down. This is another first person shooter, if I remember right. Ah, right. So, a first-person action game Doom style by YGCG, who also did Boxing Girl? Yeah, they did Boxing Girl also. Loading and not frozen. 
Nope. Uh, there we go. Do freeware, blender, programming. Change weapon, shot, move camera, move character. That's... Oh, I don't like that at all. Why is square the shoot button? That's very strange. You have to take your thumb off the right stick to attack. Which, I mean, I guess camera doesn't matter so much in... Oh god. Oh god, okay. <laughs> That's cool. The, uh... Something about the movement feels a little jerky. I'm not sure if there's, like, some kind of acceleration required. Oh, yeah, then it, like, zooms in and out and stuff? <laughs> Get the unreal sounds in there. Headshot. Oh, crap. I don't know what this does. Oh, it's like a BFG. Yeah, I, I don't know why it keeps zooming in and out. Like, it's not doing it now, but. <laughs> I like this weapon. So I guess I just run around endlessly. Is there an enemy I'm missing somewhere? Let's see. Yeah, it seems to be like infinite ammo. Interesting that you can't drop down from an upper area like in Goldeneye, so that would be that. I'm not sure why. Because Doom, you could do that. Engine limitation, design choice, I don't know. to a different weapon. Whoa! Shoot fireballs. Of course, they're imps. Shotgun is definitely the best. Do you see what I mean about the jerkiness, though? Like, as I move around, it's, it seems stuttery. Like, almost like it's rubber banding. But, uh, I don't know, it's weird. This seems perfectly fine, though. Looking around. Uh, it only seems to play one sound file at a time. Which is kind of curious. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh... That's that game. There's... Literally nothing else I can do. I'll just let it kill me. Maybe it'll drop me to a menu screen. Because I can't seem to bring one up on my own. Hmm. Oops. Okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, I would say good solid foundation. Uh... The weapons 
were fun. I like those. I like the art style. Um, could go places. What's this one? Roly Poly. This one's a Marble Mania game. A uh, Marble Madness game with Mario Galaxy style gravity by Spartan Fox. This should be interesting. I don't know if I've ever actually played Marble Mania, but I've played Koro Rinpa Marble Madness. And that was on the Wii. And that was really fun, especially with the the Wii controls. It was like one of those few games where it really got the Wii controls and it worked pretty well. Okay, this looks like Unity. Um, I'll do info first. Uh, Real-time reflections and world space texturing took a toll on performance. Uh, okay. That's fair. Controls. If you use left and right trigger on this very screen, you can change the resolution lowest being PSP res. Oh, look at that. It's hideous. <laughs> it's okay, we'll leave it on this. Right trigger will toggle gravity mode, allowing for complex mid-air maneuvers. Oh, okay. Square speeds you up, cross the two jump, and double jump. Holding it down allows wall jumps. <laughs> right stick literally just lets you look around and shit. Okay. Select lets you toggle first person view. Moves the little ball friend around. Let's zoom in and out. Yeah. Oh, you can really zoom out. I said something about a secret when zooming in. I don't know what though. We'll zoom it out. Double jump. Cool. Sure what's happening. I think it was square lets you like climb walls. Ugh. Oh, maybe I can go over here. Oh, nope, nope. nope. Run. 
a little odd. It'd be nice if I had an FPS counter. So it feels like a frame rate thing, but it might legitimately be how the game plays. This music is very strange. Don't ask me how I accomplished that. I really don't know. Whoa. Okay, well that was definitely a frame issue. Jeez, should I try for this? Last gem. Oh, okay, so it's like a gravity changer thing. Oh. oh, and I fall off right at the end. Oh, cool. Checkpoint. Hooray! <laughs> I'll look at the next level, but... has gravity to the nearest surface? Is that how it works? There's one. Oh right, they said it works like Mario Galaxy, but uh, I never played that either. No, 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 no. <sighs> Cat is here, wondering who I'm talking to. She sees no one, so she assumes I'm crazy. Nope. There we go. Now I go up this thing. Maybe it's only certain materials that you stick to like this. Okay, here's this area, ribbed for your pleasure. Guessing the gem is here somewhere? Oh. Oh, that was fun. 
There we go. I think it's... Oh. No, no! I see what you gotta do here. Okay. Uh, but I'm very bad at it. Okay. Um, so I think if you hit X and square at the same time, it like wall jumps. Or maybe it's just square? But I gotta like aim it properly. Oh, like not out into the void. I did it! Hooray! <laughs> that is enough of that. That is gonna get rage inducing real quick. <laughs> uh, let's go back down to info. Oh, that's it, it was just this. Okay, just got Spartan Fox in the corner there. So that's Roly Poly. Um, I hope they keep working on that one. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on development of that one. Uh, it would be interesting to see it like this. Smoother graphics and all. See, this is a performance hit. There's an FPS counter that says 32. Of course, it is just sitting there. Huh. Oh. Last one here. Uh, thrust shot. I believe this was the... Yeah, so I was looking forward to playing this one. It's an online multiplayer third-person shooter for up to six players featuring jetpacks. Jump into quick deathmatch battles against players from around the world. Fast-paced gameplay. Level up your character, unlock new weapons. Also features single-player mode against enemy bots, which is what I'm going to play because I'll probably get my shit wrecked if I go online. And this is Vita Hex. Vita Hex, um, I believe, is a three people. Might just be one person. Um, but they've done a few uh, Vita homebrew games of pretty good production value. Um, I haven't played any of their games, but they look pretty good, and they seem to be well received from comments I saw. Look at that. Aim sensitivity, invert look, controls, very nice presentation. Shoot, aim, crouch, switch weapon, reload, jump, sprint. Alright, I'll try to remember all that. We'll do three. Oh, let's customize my dude. Cole, Daryl, Matilda, Abby, Jason, Roman. I'm gonna be Jason. Loadout. Wow. Huh. Now this is. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, so Assault Rifle, Assault Rifle Forest. Oh, I have to reach level 9 to unlock it. Okay. Hmm. Free for all. Eliminate hostile targets. Got 
got a um, So, already there's one thing I don't like. When I'm aiming... Oh, I just got shot through the building. When I'm aiming, my body blocks a significant, like, area. Oh, interesting. Um... I feel like they should just tighten up directly over the shoulder. That's the other thing is like this isn't quite over the shoulder like you usually see in games. Like my cursor's in the middle of the screen, but my guy's like right up on it. So as I'm aiming, like you can see, or at least it looks like my cursor is behind the gun, like here. Oh yeah, see like, like the cursor's. I can aim at my own back. Like, that's weird. It's definitely not how most games do it, and I, maybe that's how they like it. I don't know. Um, definitely throws me off. Hang on, I wanted to see something. Uh, wait, reload. Yeah, you can fire during the reload animation. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see, what were the other... Let's crouch. Those aren't a thing. There we go. So you actually can get on the roof. So when I was crouched... Well, what's the point of crouching, then? When you shoot and when you aim, it makes you stand up. Is, is crouching just for, like, getting into cover? Oh, me, yeah, that must be it. So when you're in cover and you want to shoot, Somewhat. Can I go off the edge? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> um, respawn. Oh. oh, I did. Mm, no breakable environment stuff. Okay. That'd be pretty ambitious, I think. Stuck in a hole. I might actually want to up my sensitivity. Why are you running? Oh, time's up. Thrust shot. That's actually pretty good. I'm impressed. Uh, let's see if we can go online. 
player name. Can't. Should I do like TTV underscore ant number or whatever? No, that's stupid. Connected to name server. Connected to master server. Join game. Join lobby. Oh. Doesn't look like anyone is playing. That's too bad. I thought somebody would be, because, like, I think this contest ended yesterday. So I figured people would be reviewing all the games now, but maybe, maybe they did that, like, as they were uploaded. Let's go to create game. Room name. Um, we'll call it Twitch. Interesting that you can't add bots to the online game. I wonder why that might be. So I'll just spend a minute or two in here, running around, giving it a moment, see if anybody happens to join. Uh, enjoying the latency. Maybe I can find a way to get out of the map or something. <laughs> yep. There's got to be a way up that building, right? Oh yeah, I think I see it. No? Oh, I thought I could jump in the window. Oh, or I'll just fall out of the map, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> games like this like those stairs seem a little too detailed for the physics a game like this they would probably not use the actual stair model they would put down some kind of like basic ramp collision So that way it's it's like a smoother transition. No, oh, damn. All right. I'm sure there are ways to get up on those buildings if people are really dedicated enough. I'm actually a little disappointed the fronts of these buildings are like a smooth face. Like I'm used to like games like Crackdown where if there's even the barest hint of an edge, you can like grab it or at least stand on it. Maybe that's something they'll change for this one, I don't know. Because it seems like, you know, a game about jetpacks, the whole idea is verticality. 
So you want to be able to get like up high and have people zipping around in the air and stuff like that. But that might just be something like on their to-do list or something. You know, tighten up the graphics on level 3, that kind of thing. Well, minute and a half left, nobody joined, so I'm gonna guess that nobody is online playing this game. Oh, come on, get in the warp pipe. There we go. Alright. Quit. So that's Thrust Shot. Pretty cool. Uh, if I went on the actual, like, Discord for the contest or the, the Vita homebrew community or whatever, I'm sure I could get a bunch of people together to play it online. That would actually be pretty fun. Okay, guess it. Uh, yeah, alright. I'll do this one. I think it's a trivia game. I don't normally go for those. So we're into game two games now. That category is uh, games that were made from scratch, like they didn't use an existing engine. Oh, okay, this is a multiplayer game designed for two to a hundred players. Players or teams will take turns, each one must guess an image of their corresponding to her, depending on the category, it could be related to books, movies, paintings, and more. Oh, they added a customization tool so you can create new categories and make your own personalized version of the game. It also says we have a nice surprise for all of in the game. Take a look at how you can exit the game on the main menu. About, but this is uh, submitted by Howling Wolf and Chelsea Software. Oh no, this says two to twenty-four players. <laughs> Guessing a hundred is a little ambitious. It's one of those games. Hold the Vita in front of your forehead and then press L or R. Obviously it's just me, so we're just gonna... Okay, so it's... It's one of those kind of games. Okay, and so they, they don't mean multiplayer, like online multiplayer. I get it. Yeah, this is a party game. That's cool though. Um, what is what's the version of this that everybody knows? It's not categories, right? I can't remember now. Just hit exit. I don't. I don't know what the secret was. Oh, sorry, Tiffs. I didn't mean to wake you. Poor girl. Oh. Well, that seemed to work well enough, and it's cool that they included a tool to like set up your own categories. Um, so let's move on to Happy Blocks. Let's see what the deal is with these blocks and. Why they're so damn happy. This was submitted by His Arm Man. Uh, an action puzzle game involving blocks. What do you know? Multiple game modes like four color race, low IQ race, and even a death mode. And also a final boss mode. 
worried about it being about race, but we'll see. That's about. Normal mode, easy mode, tutorial, practice. Oh. Clockwise, counterclockwise, place block, race stack. Oh, damn, so like uh, Tetris. Alright. Let's do tutorial. So like Poyo Poyo. Color and shape of your next block shown on the cursor and in the bottom right. To rotate your block, press X or 0. To put your block on the board, press square or triangle. Q or C next to show on the top right. Three blocks on your board. Oops. Uh, Each block has one or more cores on it, represented by spinning shape. If your blocks align them so the two cores of the same color touch. Okay. Clear um, six blocks. Interesting that you can do that from anywhere. Um, I wonder. No, I actually have to press the button. Huh. If clearing a block makes the ones above it fall, you will earn bonus points called chain. New blocks will rise from the bottom. You die when the stack tries to rise, but your top row is blocked. Press L to manually raise. So it's like a cross between Poyo Poyo and Tetris, but kind of not either. It's too easy mode. I'm assuming this is like endless. Oh no, it's actually like a...
Yeah, I got three. So that's more like a uh, endless sort of mode. Let's see what this is. Wow, this gives me no direction. Um, set of combos for. Or maybe I just can't think that way. Green. Turn it green. Give me green. What are you doing? Or orange. Or pink. Ugh. Is it just gonna go around endlessly until like I manage to match them all up? There. <laughs> so that's happy blocks. Is there it's a custom game? Oh, okay. That's cool. Who submitted this again? His arm man. Alright. 
<laughs> uh, interesting take. Uh, don't really think it's for me. Oh, okay, so this is Wrath, aka um, Crab Island. So that's what it was submitted as. Uh, submitted by Aramalo. It says, just a barely coherent set of action RPG game mechanics and ugly, but very efficiently compressed textures. Alright then. Too efficiently compressed. Oh, there it goes. Huh. Okay, I guess a banana's for like health. It's time for crab. Oh. Is there no transparency? Oh no, there is. On some things. Maybe these are just on the same um, Y index or something. No, because then they'd Z, f or Z index, yeah, and then they'd Z fight. So that can't be it. It's not jumping. So this seems more like a tech demo, like a work in progress kind of thing. I'm guessing they called it Crab Islands because that's the section that they submitted. Let's see, can we go? Oh, I can see in the rock. Neat. Yeah, there's no way to change the camera, so. Oh, okay, I'm going to a new area. <laughs> yeah, I, I do like it. Um, Artwork is fun. Let's just lead me to a different crab island. Oh, a different part of it. Oh, right through the rock. All right. So it seems to be a large hexagonal area that I can inhabit. I did 67 damage somehow. I don't think you can actually kill these. Oh, oh, he did 67 damage to me. Better eat a banana. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to see my health or not, but... Oh god. Oh, I don't like that. Those abrupt camera changes are... a little off-putting, but... Yeah, you know, it's a whip. What about this little cave up here? Oh, I can't go in. Lame. kill the crabs. Oh, okay. I hit select and it did something. I'm guessing that would be a menu. Maybe there's a menu texture there that's not showing up for some reason. 
Well, I can still move around and stuff. Uh, okay, well, that's Crab Island, aka Wrath. <laughs> uh, looks like a decent engine so far. Silly Tower. Okay, this is another Tetris inspired thing. Uh, submitted by Cepis Juice? Da, da. C P A S J U S T E. No idea how you'd pronounce that. Um, let's see. Physics based game where you must build the highest possible tower. Yeah, that. However you pronounce that. That's who submitted this. Also, it's a very cute little duck. Oh, and they display the music, too. That's cool. And you can change it. That's cool. Nice feature there. Oh god, it's one of these. Okay.
cases like that where a block is just starting to tip with uh, an up air quick drop kind of thing, you could maybe save it by dropping another one on top or next to it or something. As it is, this is perfectly enjoyable. Jenga without the loud crash at the end. The game music is loud? Alright. Can't even see my tower anymore. Oh no! Oh, I'm done for. Damn, that's pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna hit 158. <sighs> Dev scores. Okay, so that's silly tower. Silly indeed. Um. Pressure Chasers by Crate. Pirate themed game. Procedurally generated islands, picking up cargo and delivering to other ports to sell. Sounds cool. Uh, in case it's not in the game. Design and programming by Crate. Music by Stephen Wall. And pixel art by At Apuntu. Apun Apunto on Twitter. Oh, cool, it says right there. Excellent. Time to sail the seven seas. Yeah, it's a chicken. a Rubik's Cube. He has a... Is that an accordion or a hurdy-gurdy?
Okay. Assume it's loading. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. Is that one on fire? Yeah. There we go. Ooh. I need to go to the flashy one. There we go. Screw you, pirate. Oh, crap. There we go. Nope, oh, that's the wrong side. <laughs> wow. A new high score of 20. So I have to keep track of... Oh, right. Where am I going? to keep track of what side is which and what direction I'm aiming. I think there's another one yeah, up here. Oh, let's just drop off. Hey. Is it up here? No. It's all the way at the other end. Oh, whirlpool. Gotta avoid that. ready to get some booty. Can I blow up these buildings, I wonder? Nope. Apparently I can run out of cannonballs, but it doesn't tell me how many I have. And it seems I can only fire out of one side? Smackdoor, ha ha ha. I don't know what that means, but I think he's laughing at me. That's a cute little game. Also very challenging. If I could see how many cannonballs I had left, and had some indication of what side I would be firing out of It'd be a little easier. But it was good. It was good. Uh, I'm gonna come back to Vita Man. Is there something different about that one? Um, this one is Wonky Adventures. Simple 2D platformer with wonky physics. Submitted by Staxta. Oh. 
at this joke. So, seems okay. So, when you go up into the corner, it like leaps you up. Is that what I mean by wonky physics? Yeah, this music's good too. Ooh. What's this? Is this we can go? Oh. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see. Yes, you're ex supposed to exploit that weird jump thing. You wish it was nighttime music would fit better? I can see that. Maybe there are night levels. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Apparently can't do damage while I'm injured. Oh, oh come on. There, now it's night time. I wasn't even touching that. Oh, crap. Well, this game thinks it has wonky physics, but yeah, they clearly haven't played your can. Oh, game over. Because you're not doing a separate, like, well, I mean, you are, but, like, I'm not hitting X or something to jump, it's up. So I'm, like, going left and right on the D-pad, and then up to jump. I mean, it, it makes more sense if the whole point is these weird jumping physics. Wonky Adventures. Um, pretty good basic platformer. Uh, getting the jump time down is crucial, apparently. Um, Alright, so this last one Vita Man, or Vitamin, submitted by L0Y, like W I G H. I guess it's maybe it's low Y. I don't know. So this one's weird. Uh, it says it's a simple, in parentheses, ugly Pac-Man clone, but filled with Vita scene memes. Nothing too fancy here. If you know Pac-Man and the Vita scene, you know that game. So this is really more for like everyone else who's like submitting to this and stuff. Uh, it's gonna be full of a lot of like in jokes and things. 
We'll see how it is. So like right there. <laughs> okay, so the lower left corner, that's a, a SD2 Vita. That's a, a an SD micro SD adapter for the Vita game cart slot. So you don't put a game cart in, you put that in and it acts as storage. So you can put all your games on that. I actually have one in here right now. Um, but it's funny that they have a regular sized SD card next to it. Uh, what does it say on the side here? Mythic Meows just slid into the server. Mythic Meows, hi, I make so big mistake with my PS Vita. So I'm guessing that that's from the uh, Henkaku server where people talk about modding their device and they probably tried modding it and screwed something up. Would be awesome to run C, C sharp, C plus plus code on the Vita natively. Yeah, no, that's not. <laughs> uh, am I playing or? Okay, there we go. All right, so. These blue things I'm collecting are the, I think it's the Modoru symbol. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's Lollet Bricks. Oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, so the Flow Zero, uh, Andy Nguyen, is like a god in the console modding scene. He's, I think he got his start with PSP. He's responsible for a lot of the... Uh, custom firmware and, and hacks and stuff on that. And also for the Vita, he's helped out with a lot of homebrew projects. Like, uh, he and Rinnick Adamante have worked on the, the Grand Theft Auto ports to Vita. Um, so this, it's a funny tweet from him. Uh, what's he saying? Yeah, so those blue things... Uh, it's either Henkaku or Modoro, I forget which, but it's one of the, the hacks you put on the Vita. Oh. And of course, the orange diamonds are the Sony logo and then the PlayStation logo. Um... Yeah, this... Controls very odd. Like it's. Did Pac Man work that way? Where you pressed a direction and he would just go in that direction whether you were touching it or not? I don't think it did. But uh, that's how this one's working. Oh. Nom 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 PlayStation. Oh. Uh. Does that mean I won? <laughs> it's a screenshot of the system info. Free space. Yeah, that's not the size memory card I have in here, so I know that's like. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of funny. That's Vitamin. Vitaman. Not bad. It, it got the joke across, I think. Alright. Um, so these are all ports. And let's see, I'm just over two hours now. I'm not going to wrap up just yet. Because I want to play Gun God, so I was looking forward to this one. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick like, minute, two minute break and come back to this. Close my BRB thing again.
Alright, I am back. Okay, so this uh, port of gun gods. Uh, who did this? Uh, this is ported by Misery, spelled M1S3RY. Uh, I think I follow them on YouTube also. Um, so this is a port of Gun Gods, which is a Vlambeer game, uh, and Venus Patrol. I think they did the music. Uh, if you were here for my last homebrew thing, you would know my thoughts on Vlambeer. But, uh, anyway, this is a first-person shooter. It's Wolfenstein 3D style. Uh, it's actually free on Steam. You can just go and grab it. Um, I think it's also kind of roguelike, too. It looked interesting, so I'm going to check it out. Melee is just like a stab. It's weird. <laughs> wow, okay. Am I supposed to free you? Or... <laughs> He's dead now. I don't think there's like a map or anything. Um, nope, it's just shoot and melee. Wait, let me check the... Oh, there's no pause either. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Oh, let's just how to install. I still have the GitHub up. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. Mm, no, I got no, okay. That's where I broke out. So, so I, I think the the goal is to get to the end. But I don't know. Damn it, I was already here. So yeah, I gotta go this way. Oh, I went in here. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a big boy. go. Ah. You gun. left. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Uh, switch weapons. How? How switch? Oh, 
I don't know if I'm supposed to keep them alive or not. That's for filthy casuals. Whoa. <laughs> I imagine those are gonna come after me next level. Surprising lack of screen shake in this game. It's like something Vlambeer is known for. Like all of their games have massive amounts of screen shake. Oh, bitch. Switch. There we go. Get your stabbing. There we go. <laughs> I wonder if there's like secrets in the walls and stuff, like Wolfenstein. I'm gonna go back. Check out that other space. No. The uh, green thing in the upper left corner that keeps flickering that's a system announcement thing that popped up, but it's because it's like outside of this game's drawing area, it's kind of stuck being blitted to the screen. It's really nothing I can do about Well, actually... Oh, it's still there. Okay, maybe that's something else going on with that. Um, but it's for a... Oh my god. It's for a plugin that I have installed. What is this? I can't pick up. Uh, whatever. Maybe it's nothing. Whoa. Sneaky. Oh, I missed somebody. Oh, that's it? Well, that was Gun Gods, everyone. <laughs> I think, um, let me check the Steam page real quick, because I think... Uh, store page. First-person shooter about gun, gangster rap, and the rich culture of Venus. I... Players try to escape the jail of a hotel, which is the only building on Venus and is owned by a record label owner who happens to be the god of guns. Now I'm seeing screenshots of many different areas on here. Oh yeah, 12 levels, 4 secret levels, and tons of speedrunning options. I wonder why this ended at 3. The, uh...
I think I might know why. So when you install this one, you get the Steam files and you run a patcher on them. And then you copy those to the Vita. And I'm guessing it didn't work properly. Actually, is there music? I have to turn my TV turned down. Oh. Oh, that's oh, okay. I get it now. Let me see if there's music. There's not. Huh. again. So I thought that's what the OGG files were. Oh, I still have it open. Yeah, looks like music files. Huh, I don't know. Maybe it's an issue with the port. I'll look into it later. So yeah, this is the next area that I was seeing. Oh god, what is that? <laughs> hmm. So we got some clipping issues here. I'm guessing that's something with the port. Oh shit. Imagine speedrunning seems more feasible on the computer version because you use the mouse. At least I'm assuming you use the mouse. Shotgun OP. Wow, people do this in 40 seconds. So are the levels randomly generated? I thought they were. doesn't say and it's not tagged as such <laughs> this review I get that it's supposed to emulate shitty rules of games like Wolfenstein 3d like not being able to aim and shoot at the same time but that doesn't mean it gets a pass it sucked in that game it sucks in this game it just makes the game not fun to play <laughs> Like, if you didn't like Wolfenstein 3D, why would you pick up a game that's obviously emulating that? People. This game is about sports. I hate sports.
Ooh, hello. Fryer ball. That's why I walk right into it. I literally have to hit like the three pixel wide tentacles. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a boss creature. I like it. so hard when they chase you down like the you think the shotgun would be more effective here. oh god There's like hell. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, come on. Fucking homing missiles. <laughs> okay. I can't get out of here. Alright, that's Gun Gods. Definitely have to try it on the computer, see how it compares. But, uh... Seems like a pretty good port. Uh, it ran very smooth. Despite that little bit of green thing off the side. Uh, I didn't see any issues with it. Oh, well, yeah, there's, there's some clipping of the enemies, which maybe the original game is like that too, I'm not sure. Um, I think that was originally made in Game Maker, and there's been a lot of success recently of people porting Game Maker games to this uh, system, which is pretty cool. So I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'll check out the rest of these ports next time. I do homebrews day, and I'll check out. I got I got Meritus to work, seemingly, so we'll check that one out. Probably a bio a bio de mort. Um, some other ones I got in here. Uh, I'll have to test Jasp, Jackrabbit, and Commander Keen to make sure those work. But yeah, I still got a lot of a lot of content to go through here. 
God, I love the Vita. Such a good system. Um, alright. Since I'm calling it here, let's see who I can raid. Who is online? Hard Wolf. Oh, Petrolux is doing Dead Rising. So we will go give him a raid. Let me set that up. All right, so yeah, uh, thank you all for joining me again. I hope you found this interesting and entertaining, or at least one of the two. I think it's really cool that they're still doing like new Vita homebrew stuff and doing things like contests and things game jams to get people still involved there's still a lot of love for this system like it's the, the community around it it's not as large as the psp which also is still going strong but uh it's definitely got a very good base a lot of people doing cool stuff in the vita scene um and hopefully we'll see more and more from them as years go on despite sony and there's stupid shenanigans, but uh, that's a rant for another time. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, raid Patrilex. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next one.